Hi, we're going to talk about a redox reaction, and I'm going to tell you right out of the gate, you will love this reaction. The color change in it, it's just so cool. You'll love this reaction. Um, so let's start right here. I want to give you the overview of what you're going to be doing. Um, so you perform this reaction in acid, and the reason why is permanganate, it can react in a neutral or a basic solution to, um, to form. It's a uh, manganese 4 oxide and it's kind of a brown insoluble substance um, and it can skew your ability to see the end point to see where we hit equivalence point mm -hmm. so we do this in an acid just to avoid that solid that precipitate right there um, so we're going to add some sulfuric acid a three molar um, sulfuric acid to this um, so really simple I mean overall the setup is going to be simple don't let this be um, daunting or overwhelming for you you're going to add 10 mils of distilled water to an Erlenmeyer flask. So 10 mils distilled water. You'll add 10 mils of a three molar sulfuric acid. That's to prevent the precipitate of that manganese oxide. And then you add one mil of hydrogen peroxide, a 3% hydrogen peroxide. And it's the hydrogen peroxide that's going to react with the permanganate. Um, from there, you're going to do a regular titration. So you'll read the initial volume of uh, your solution, okay? Um, and then you're going to titrate. You know, you'll go one mil, mil at a time. And here's the cool part. This permanganate is beautiful. It looks like grape juice. Don't drink it though. Um, it's this beautiful, deep, rich purple color. And you're going to add it to this clear solution of acid water and hydrogen peroxide. And as this purple goes in here, nothing it stays clear. It is so cool. Um, and then you're going to see some flashes of pink. There's going to be a light pink color as you get closer to the equivalence point. Um, so you're going to titrate, add a mill at a time, swirl, swirl. Um, you start to see flashes of pink, so you slow down. Um, you might be going a drop at a time. When you add a drop and it stays pink for 30 seconds, you just hit your equivalence point. And that's when you read the final volume. Um, so really all you're recording is the volume of the hydrogen peroxide um, that you add to this, which will be one mil, an initial volume and a final volume of the amount of potassium permanganate that you add to this. And from there, you can do all of your calculations. So that's the tactile, physical, hey, let's do the titration. Let me help you though with the math. Let me help you with the calculations. Um, let's see here. So I have my two half reactions, the half reaction for uh, the permanganate and the half reaction for the hydrogen peroxide. Um, we need to write a net ionic equation for this. Um, so remember when we're doing half reactions, we have to balance electrons and atoms. I have five electrons right here that are going to be gained, two electrons that are going to be lost. The smallest number those both go into is 10. So I'm going to multiply all of this by a two. And I'm going to multiply this re half reaction by a five. Let me go ahead and write that out for you. We're going to have 16 hydrogen plus two permanganate plus 10 electrons yields two manganese, two plus, plus, um, excuse me, eight water. Now we're going to add to this five hydrogen peroxide, uh, which will yield five oxygen plus 10 hydrogen plus 10 electrons. So let's go ahead and add all this up. I look on the, um, the opposite side of the yield signs to see if anything's the same, um, what I can cancel. Notice 10 electrons, the who? And that was the whole point. When we add half reactions, those electrons gained and lost have to be equal, so they cancel. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Notice I've got 10 hydrogen here, minus 16 is going to give me six hydrogen. Everything else, um, we can't cancel, so we just added up. You're going to get six hydrogen ion plus two permanganate plus five peroxide yields five of the oxygen plus eight of the water. Great. So we have our balanced net ionic equation. Now I wanted to give you some data. Okay. Let's say that my uh, initial volume is 19. Uh, 0.15 mils. Okay, so that's where I would start with my titration. So in my burette, I would take this, read the volume, and go, all right, 19. Remember, I'm counting down one, two, three, four, okay, I'm at 19, now 
one. I make a guess, and I think that the meniscus is in between the point 0.1 and point 0.2, so I guess at the five for the hundredths place. Um, and then let's say our final volume. Um, so let's subtract the final volume for it. Let's say that I add my last drop. This turns pink and stays pink for 30 seconds, and then I read where's my volume. So I'm counting down 